Take care, brother. All right. There's uh, Dan Morang. Okay, when we come back, we got a special guest. His name is Scott Toomey. He's the director of choir at Multnomah Athletic Club. They have put together a parody song. He's a man after my own heart. Nothing compares to the Dame. And we got the video to go along with it. We'll play that for you next. You've got game day. Tip-off Blazers Nuggets coming up at 6. All right, very happy to welcome to the show our next guest, a professor at Pacific University. He's also the director of choir at Multnomah Athletic Club and a strong member of Rip City. It's my pleasure to welcome Scott Toomey to Blazers Game Day. Scott, welcome. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here. I really appreciate you having me on today. All right. Well, I appreciate it. This is a thrill for me too, Scott. I want the viewers to have some background on you. Uh, are you a Northwest native? And give us an idea of your work at Pacific University and with Multnomah Athletic Club. Okay. Uh, I've been at Pacific now. This is my 34th year. Wow. And uh, I have began there as a voice teacher. And over the years, um, can, uh, was asked to take on the choirs as well. And it's been a wonderful place to work. Um, and now I'm the, the director, I guess, of choral and vocal activities there. So responsible for the choirs and all the vocal music that happens there. But, and then I started to, oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say that's awesome. You know, you and I were talking about this a couple of days ago on the phone where, you know, music brings so much joy and peace to people's life. It had to be a challenge over the last year with the pandemic and some of the limitations, I would guess. It has been incredibly difficult for, and I'm saying this in, in the, on behalf of choir directors and, and people that love to <laughs> sing everywhere. Uh, you know, it's a church choir, community choir, and especially I know in school choirs at all levels, it's been tough. You're absolutely right. Um, you know, it's uh, singing was considered a, a, a non a, a non cool activity or, or a dangerous activity, I guess, and so. Uh, we've had to find other ways to make music, and uh, same with the balladeers. We needed to find another way to do this. That's terrific. Now, Multnomah Athletic Club, you know, they've got a lot of different groups, a lot of different activities going on. I didn't know until you reached out to me that they have their own choir, so tell me about that. Sure. The Balladeers have been at the Mac Club, believe it or not, since 1941. Wow. And the, I know we just celebrated our 80th anniversary and we were founded on Valentine's Day, the very first rehearsal of 1941, and had an 80th anniversary program this year, just talking about how it all got started. And it started with a bunch of guys that went fishing on the Willamette. And um, they were out there, they, they get, somebody got a new boat and they went out and they did some salmon fishing and they started singing and uh, the rumor has it that beer may have been involved and then at some point somebody caught a salmon and all these other boats around them started singing too and this guy said <laughs> we're going to start a choir. And so they did and over the years the balladeers have performed with uh, Bob Hope, uh, Jane Mansfield, um, just various dignitaries that have come to town. And uh, now that currently they're they're a community service outreach of the uh, of the Mac Club. We sing for retirement communities, we sing for Ronald McDonald House veteran centers, and one of our most rewarding experiences is well for the last five years or so we've sung for St. Mary's Home for Boys. Oh, that's terrific! You know, I, I was telling you this, but when I was younger, uh, my papa was he loved music and he had a good singing voice and. In our neighborhood in Oklahoma, we would walk around and sing Christmas carols, right? And what was nice about that, much like when you go to one of these places or homes to sing to people, it was pretty cool because people would open up their door and we would sing carols to them. And you bring a smile to their face, you know, because people enjoyed that. But I enjoyed getting together in a group and going out and singing together to the neighborhood and to other people. So I'm glad you guys do that. That's awesome. It's really, you're, you just hit it right on the head. You know, we did a holiday concert. We combined with the college choirs and the balladeers and Prairie High School, and we broadcast it to uh, retirement communities all across the United States. And it was just, just because people, residents weren't able to get out. And so we really wanted to reach out to them. And I got to tell you, you know, in spite of doing live concerts for years, that experience was one of the most rewarding ones I've ever had making music. That's terrific. We're talking with Scott Toomey from Pacific University here on the uh, Blazers game day. All right, so when did it start for you? How did you become a Blazer maniac? I, I started right at the beginning. My dad started bringing me to games in the very first year, back with Roland Todd, and, and was thinking about who was playing then, uh, Leroy Ellis and Adelman and Jim Barnett and just all the uh, Gary Greger. I'm trying to remember all these people way back at the beginning. And so it's always been part of our lives. And 
even as he got older, I would be taking him. I'd be taking my grandma to games. Uh, and now that uh, my wife and I have a couple of sons, we started taking them to games. So Leslie and I would bring them. And and so it's it's just a huge part of our lives. And we really have enjoyed it over the years. That's so great. I Some of my happiest memories as a youngster is going to sporting events, me and my dad, right, where he would get tickets and surprise me and take me to football games, basketball games. It's like those are the memories that stick with you. And I think when you have those type of uh, um, experiences that bring a lot of emotion, I think it kind of draws you in. And then once you get hooked, there's no way out of it, right? That's just the way it goes. Absolutely. I agree. And I love to see the city come together and, you know, the community. It's really, it's a wonderful experience. Yeah, there's nothing like it. It is unique because of the size of the town. And ever since they won the championship, the the relationship between team and community has been terrific. Now, you said that you reached out to me. I did not know you until you left me a voicemail and we connected. Uh, You reached out to me, you said, because you've been listening to me for a long time. Is that true? Yes, I have been listening to you, I think, since the very beginning, since you first started. That's amazing. Now, what I love about your call is that you've got a song we're going to play here in just a moment, and you'll tell us about it before we do so, but I'm a big fan of parody songs. I've always loved it ever since I was younger with uh, Weird Al Yankovic, and then when I got into radio and was making some Blazer parodies and stuff like that, like I love taking my thoughts and ideas and being able to marry those with music. It's a lot of fun. Tell us about the song, There's Nothing Like the Dame, and the idea. How did it come to be? Sure, sure. You know, we were singing a piece already from the musical South Pacific called There's Nothing Like a Dame, um, Rodgers and Hammerstein. And, you know, and we got to thinking, well, we've got, what about Damian Lillard? What could we do to support him? And we've got this, this word association. And we thought, let's try to support him in our city and our community. But we, you know, I think we were also inspired. We've all had a rough year. I know everybody has, and (laughs) Dame has too, you know, and, and he's been an inspiration to all of us. And so we decided we would sit down and see if we could make a, you know, a a talking head Brady Bunch style video, like a lot of choirs are doing these days. And so um, we, we got to working on this project in February and I was at a, an impasse as to what to do with the words, but one of the choir members, Carl Wetzel, took a, took a whack at it. And he used to be Jeff Petrie's running partner years wow. ago. I know, you know, and I couldn't believe it. And so he he sent me a rough draft. And then I sat down and, and fooled around with the lyrics for a while and then sang them back to Carl and his wife, Barbara, and my wife, Leslie. And they said, yeah, I think we got something here. And so then what was a matter of um, uploading the words, uh, uploading a conducting video that people could sing to, an accompaniment track, um, then piecing out each one of the tracks that, that the guys could upload to. And then it took, you know, a month or so for everybody to learn the new words because they come by really fast and do the upload. And, and then we sent them to our accompanist, who's also an amazing um, audio video engineer, Paul Nelson, who took them. And, you know, you've got some people singing into microphones and other other guys just singing into phones. And so you had uh, issues for balance and blend. And Paul blended them all together and synced them up. And then we decided we'd put video on top of it, too. And so, um, Paul, uh, we he videotaped all of us, or we sent in, again, videos of us singing. And then Paul synced those with it and then added other footage and things on top of it to try and make it come together. So we started in February, and it was finished this last Friday night. That is awesome. All right, you ready for this? Let's go ahead and play this. I think people are going to enjoy it. I can't wait to see the video. Here it is, Nothing Like the Dame. We had Petrie, we had Walton, we had Porter, we had Clyde. We had Brandon Roy and Percy who could take the ball inside. We had a coach named Ramsey who brought us a lot of fame. Now who's the man? His name is Dave. Dave makes headlines in New York, he gets envy from L.A. And the Mota fans go crazy when he hits another tray. He gets fan mail from all over, gives his best in every game. We all remember the many game-winning shots that Dame took. Don't believe us, just ask Paul George and Russell Westbrook. There is nothing like the Dame, nothing in the world. There is no one you can name who is anything like our Dame. He can shoot it from the logo, he can drive it to the rack. 
He can dish it when he needs to put the team upon his back. He can drop a 50 burger and not even bat an eye. Why is there so? You know darn why. We all appreciate the many things he has done for our community. We can't wait to go back and see him in person once we reach herd immunity. There is nothing like the day. That is truly awesome, Scott. It's great. What a great song. The video is terrific. You guys did one heck of a job. It was so fun to put together. It was so fun to share wow. with the guys as we were piecing it together. And so it's, you know, admit, even though we can't be together, when we can put something together and see it, it is really fun to be able to see it again together at the end. Now, Scott, I don't know if you have a list of all your guys, but would you like to give a shout out to your guys or a shout out to anyone in particular for the project? To give them some recognition? You bet. I'd like to give a shout out to Paul Nelson first for putting this whole thing together and making us look good and sound good. I want to give a shout out to John Lee, who is the president of the Balladeers this year, and also to Carl Wetzel, who is my uh, partner in the chicanery of making these words turn into this piece. And really, all the guys are such an inspiration to work with. They have taught me a lot about life, and I continue to love to work with them. And we continue to meet every week on Zoom. So I'm just, thank you all, you guys, for all the work you put in. You've really kept me going this year, and I'm very grateful. Well, I tell you what, Scott, it's a blessing that we were brought together. I'm so glad that you reached out and... Congrats to you and the rest of your guys. That is an awesome song, a great video, and uh, I love it, man. You guys did a terrific job. It's fun. Thank you so much. Thank you for so much for giving us the opportunity to share it with you. And right. just we just wanted to have fun, and, and you've made it even more fun, so thank you. All right, that's great. Well, Scott, thank you so much. You're welcome on the show anytime, buddy, and go Blazers. Go Blazers. Thank you. All right, Scott Toomey, Pacific University. How great is that? I love parody songs. They put together their own parody, and they did a terrific job singing it. That is awesome. <laughs> oh.